And now a message from Tom Selleck and David Letterman. Hi. You know, when we play private detectives on television, we look pretty good in our Hawaiian shirts. You might even say we've started a fashion trend. Well, that's true. But lately, we've heard some pretty disturbing news. Apparently, American stores are currently being flooded with knockoff, cheap imitation Hawaiian shirts. They're not from Hawaii. And let's face it, in many cases, they're not even shirts. Yeah. So don't buy Hawaiian shirt knockoffs. And don't watch this man's television show. What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry, David. I've been under a lot of stress lately. Thank you very much, Paul. Thank you to our wonderful studio audience. Let's get on with the scheduled program, shall we? It's certainly, it's certainly a pleasure to welcome my first guest to this program tonight. He is the star of a series on another television network. The program uh, on which he is the star is called Magnum P.I. Please say hello to Tom Selleck. Yeah. You like that, I would guess. Yeah, I like that yeah, a lot. Yeah. That was very nice. Actually. Now, now this was just a joke, wasn't it? <laughs> sure, it was just a joke. Now, do you, do you know Bill Cosby? I think I met Bill once a long time ago. Mm -hmm. and I, actually, I'm glad you asked that question because everywhere I go now, people are trying to turn this thing. You know, we're on the air at the same time. Right. There have been actually things printed yeah. in, in newspapers, magazines, that you two are having some sort of a battle or a feud or you don't like each other or... Yeah. Yeah. And that's, I mean, I met Bill. And I think he's a real gentleman. And I sent him a note. Yeah. I sent him a note to try and kind of diffuse all that. <laughs> but, uh, no, I don't want to start anything because, no, he's, he's a very nice yeah. man and he deserves his success and it's, well, it's now, a good show. But you know what, I, I think maybe people are under the false impression that just because his show is doing so well, that your show is doing badly, but your show is not doing badly at all, is it? It's not doing as well. <laughs> as it was before he went on the air. But it's still doing very well, isn't it? Yeah. How well is it doing? <laughs> well, it's doing it's pretty good. It's still a big show, isn't it's, it? It's a big show. It's a top 20 show instead of a top 10 show right now. But uh, Well, the top 20 that you'll be on for yeah, years, Yeah, we finished you? about, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to them, uh, whoever they may be. Uh -huh. But, uh, no, we, we finished, I think, I hate to quote the ratings, but we finished about 15th for the year. That's about where we ended up. Yeah, but we were three or four of us. <laughs> we, we tied a couple of weeks with Dynasty, and then we... Did you? Uh, yeah, but... Uh, <laughs> kind of... Uh, now, I, this, I found this very interesting. Do you think we've peaked? Who, you and me? On our show. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're going to bail out on me. Uh, no, we're just getting hot here. No, the show is, no, I think, better than ever. And I think, you know, if anything, you're, you're younger looking than uh, you were when it first went on the air. And I find it more exciting now. I don't know what you've done, but it's, you know, more exciting, more stimulating intellectually as well. Have you ever watched our show? I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Not as often as I'd like. I have all these personal problems, but I see it when I... Anyway, I find it interesting that while you're uh, in, the, in the East, you're, you're doing something besides show business kind of things. Tell the folks what you've been doing all week. Well, if I walked out kind of funny... Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'd I, pay to see that. I, don't... Of it. <laughs> I uh, I've been playing volleyball. Yeah. And I, 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 this is kind of my outlet, and I play for the Outrigger Canoe Club. Now, what kind of a... Is this is an organized tournament? Or yeah, you... this is the national championships. It was in Long Island this year. Of, of, is this a professional team? Well, no, no, no. This is amateur, but I uh -huh. play for a club in Hawaii, and we won the national championship the last three years in a row. So we were defending national champions in the 35 to uh -huh. 45. Oh, but it's still very competitive. What would that be, Tom? Seniors? That's called men's... <laughs> that's, that's called men's seniors, yeah, but it's very competitive. Yeah. See, but I didn't do anything for a month because I was in London mm -hmm. doing a, a two-hour episode of... Magnum P.I. Magnum P.I. Yeah. for next season. I love it when you leave the country. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was, I was really out of shape, and, uh, but the team said they kind of needed me, and it's a great outlet for me. Now, where did you get interested in volleyball? Have you been a player most of your life? I played at, uh, at USC, and yeah. I used to play on the beach in California, kind of two-man yeah. volleyball. Yeah. And uh, then I didn't do anything for a long time. And when I went over to start Magnum in Hawaii, the uh, 
Screen Actors Guild went on strike, <laughs> so I was out of work for about three months before the show ever started, and I started playing volleyball with some of my friends over yeah. there, and it, I started playing again. And what's the most important thing about it? Is it spiking? Is, or, I know so little about the game well, other than it's very exciting to watch. Well, for me, uh, it's spiking. It's spiking. <laughs> no, I, I, that I mean, no, no, that's, what, that's, what I, that's my job. Yeah, and, explain uh, that. What do you well, I, I, I'm what they call an outside hitter. I don't... Uh, um, my forte is not really, you know, when they serve the ball over the mm -hmm. net, you, you kind of pass the mm -hmm. ball up to your teammates, and I'm not always that accurate yeah. at doing that. So my job is to hit the ball <laughs> over the block, you, you over do, the net. Oh, you do play right at the net. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I'm a spiker. Yeah. And it, everything was going really well. I was, I was kind of out of shape, but I was playing on adrenaline, and we won, when I got there, three straight matches and got to the finals of the national championship. That's great. And uh, we got to us, we, we tied the other team and had to play one sudden death game for the national championship. Yeah. And I made a big mistake, Dave. Which I, was? Well, um, it's one of, you know, if you've ever played sports, you just kind of replay things for the rest of your life. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to get this out of my system. This is going to haunt you for a while, apparently. It is, yeah. it is, because I got a set. And, you know, a set, you use, means, a set means a setter sets a ball up. And, and you're you, ready you, to put it away. And spike it. Yeah. And you're hitting usually against two or three guys with their arms up, you know, trying yeah. to block it. Well, nobody tried to block the set, which doesn't happen very often. Yeah. And it was very close to the net, so I decided to hit it straight down, which would have given us a lot of momentum. And I hit the net with Ooh. my hand. Ooh. Gave them their 14th point, and you only played a 15. So yeah. it's possible that I may have been the GOAT. Yeah. Well, it sounds to me like you choked. If it'll make you feel any better. Yeah, I, that's what it sounds like now, to was, me, too. Who was the, the winning team? You didn't mention the winning team. Uh, Chuck's Steakhouse and Nick's Fish Market. <laughs> Don't laugh. It's I mean, a hyphen. It's, no, it's, 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 a, it's not Chuck's Steakhouse and Nick's Fish Market. It's yeah. Chuck's Steakhouse slash yeah. Nick's Fish Market. <laughs> But it doesn't mean you're playing a bunch of busboys and waitresses. No, no, these no, guys these are, are, these are, these real are guys. big, senior. Yeah, were Chuck and Nick men's. at the games? Chuck, Chuck was. <laughs> Chuck was. I, I didn't see Nick, but these are, these are big guys. But you these know, are, they used to be all Americans. Yeah, so this is a, actually huge. A, a terrific game. Anybody yeah. who's watched the Olympics knows this is a very physical Well, it was until I started sport. describing it. I, oh, I mean, volleyball fine. was fine. on the upswing. and uh, You're in good shape. Yeah, Don't worry whatever. about it. We are, uh, what we're going to do here is uh, uh, do a commercial, then we'll be right back with Tom Selleck. is here and uh, Roseanne Cash will be here later and also uh, Kenny the Gardener. Tell me, the, the, uh, it, was, this, was this the first movie that, that you were in, the, the, human, the human aspects, no, the no. mental aspects of human responsibility? That's exactly Your correct. Your first film. Yeah. Now, uh, was this a feature? Uh, no, this is an Air Force training film. Yeah. Were uh, you in the Air Force? <laughs> no, I was uh, studying business administration at the University of Southern California at the time. Uh, see if they keep applauding when I say that. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of business ad yeah. fans here. <laughs> Must be. Um, anyway, uh, no, it was an Air Force training film, and I, I got this, this part in it. Mm -hmm. I played Airman Pickens, and mm -hmm. it was the first uh, dramatic role that I ever had. Well, tell us about uh, Airman Pickens. What was the... Uh... Well, I, don't, I don't remember a whole lot about him. I didn't do a whole kind of personality breakdown yeah. and everything for him. But uh, I do remember, I've always remembered my first line, which was, it was a, a training film for Air Force psychiatrists. So mm -hmm. I visit an Air Force psychiatrist and my first line was, I don't know what's wrong with him, sir. I don't want him to get in any trouble, but I think something's bugging him. Mm -hmm. Now that's all I remember about that yeah. film day. So a Airman Pickens sounds like he's ratting on a buddy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. There's been some trouble yeah. back at the barracks, and uh, <laughs> I couldn't at the time. You you try and learn ways as an actor to get out of those holes, yeah. but I don't think I got out of that particular one. I ratted on him. Do those do those uh, pay well when you're doing those? Paid about uh, minimum, which was about 150 dollars at the time. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you were also in the film uh, Coma. You got some of my biggies. Here. Yeah. Well, no, Coma yeah. was a pretty big film. Coma I... was a very big film, yeah. but I was you didn't see it. No, I saw Are that. You, sure, that no. That's why you don't remember me, because no. I was dead most of the movie. I was. Uh, <laughs> I I had a, 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 a I had a couple scenes at the beginning, and uh, were you Airman I, Pickens again? No, I was. <laughs> I was in more trouble at the base. <laughs> I was Sean Murphy, and actually it was a it was a, a 
a big part in the book, so yeah. I kept lying to producers for the whole year after I did the movie before it came out. I said I did Sean Murphy. They thought I had a big part. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, my kidneys and my <laughs> body was in it more than I was. <laughs> they cut me open, and it was terrible. It was. Did you, you did you know. did you expire early in the film? In the first five minutes, Dave. yeah. <laughs> But then your the the remains was with us throughout the oh, rest yes. of the feature. Yeah, I had to reappear, and it was very important that the audience remember me because when uh, Jean Jean Bougeau, I hope I pronounced that right, runs into this room mm -hmm. in a moment of terror, and she was the nurse at the hospital where I was uh, before I died. When she runs into this room, she and the audience have to recognize my face. Mm -hmm. I'm laying on my stomach, my face like this, <laughs> and my back was completely opened up and they'd removed my kidneys and sold them to someone rich. <laughs> uh, and you had to play dead for what length of time at the most? Well, on camera, probably about a minute. Yeah, is, is, uh, that's probably not too tough. That that's would, very tough. Yeah. Oh, it no, is tough. you have to hold your tough? breath, Dave. But for a minute? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't know. The cameraman said I was very good at it. Yeah. He, he, said, <laughs> he said I was one of the best stiffs that they'd ever seen. <laughs> now, I hope that was referring to my uh, dead part of the picture. Yeah, as opposed, we, as to, as opposed to when you were actually yeah. doing lines. Sure, yeah. yeah. Uh, had you been sick long? Uh, no, I went in for... <laughs> <laughs> Just a checkup. <laughs> the point of the, 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 the film was you, I went in for simple knee surgery, and they these Took people were killing people to oh, get yeah. their organs. Yeah, for yeah. well, that's people. no good. Yeah. They shut that place down, didn't yeah. they? They yeah. finally did. Uh, Tom, I, you know, you were really sweet to me. A long time ago, you called me on the phone, about yeah. a year ago, and yes. you were very nice because we had been asking you, would you ever like to be on the show? We'd love to have you as a guest. And you were very considerate to call me up and said, I'll, I'll do the show as soon as I can work free of my yeah. schedule and come east. Well, and I wanted tonight. to. But you, at the time, you mentioned a little something else. You said, when I come on the show, I want to do something else. Tell, tell the folks what you'd like to do, and I guess we're going to see it. Well... <laughs> I said I'd like to do something stupid. Yeah. And you said, you've come to the right place. That's right. I remember that phone call. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I spent a, a couple months trying to figure out what to do. Actually, what I'm really after here is a late night sponge and a collapsible drinking cup. I hope you're not out. No, we haven't. Well, where's, I don't want them yet. The oh, okay. No, no. Anyway, it's just, uh, I, I didn't know what to do. And then I thought of this thing, the wonderful world of boat travel. And, the uh, wonderful world of yeah. boat travel, all right? And it's a little journey that I can take you on. Sounds like another um, training film. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's kind of come full circle, really. All right. Since uh, A little one-man demonstration? Do you need help yeah, with well, this? No, you have to watch. Okay. But, I guess you go right over there. I'll yeah, stay I here. Is it okay if I stay here? You want you, me over there? I, I may need you. I, I'll come over. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just to talk to in between. All right. The wonderful world of boat travel, ladies and gentlemen, as presented by Tom Selleck. Well, I, first of all, I have to say that this is not my trick. This is Doug Hogan's trick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he's a friend of my brother Dan's. <laughs> what, what does Doug do? Doug, I don't know anymore. He does this. <laughs> he, he did this okay. at my 40th uh, birthday party, right. and that's so, where the inspiration This is kind of a salute to, to Doug Hogan. Yeah. Now, it's, come, it's a series of three things. You have to use your imagination here. Um, the first thing is, if you can imagine yourself in a little rowboat with rowboat, about a two right. and a half horsepower okay. motor on it, just kind of cruising out in the morning at dawn to fish in the Going middle fishing. of the lake. Yeah. Going after grouper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you really going to do this? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is a major star, ladies and gentlemen. A really yes, big know. star. There's water in here. Yeah, water. Yeah. Okay. This is a... a <laughs> A little rowboat, just small rowboat. Yeah. yeah. At dawn. Yeah. Two yeah. men in the boat. <laughs> Two and a half horsepower. Yeah. Yeah. Needs a lot of air. <laughs> this really is stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it's <laughs> okay. Uh, well, if you'd ever do it, maybe we'd find out. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Selleck, The Wonderful World of Boat Travel. Let's take a look at it again. There he is, there ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, there's more. There's more? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's more. Do we have time for the rest we have of time it? For... Of course we have yeah. time for it. Sure. I can do, should I do my two or my one? 
Whatever you want to do. Oh, okay. Just, okay. I need a little prop for this. This is a... Uh... <laughs> this is a seaplane. Uh-huh. <laughs> Taking off down yeah. a, a flowing river. Yeah. At dawn again. At dawn again. At dawn again. And, and you said this would be stupid. I said this would be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is uh, the seaplane getting That's ready right. to take off down a river. That's right. And this is not doing justice to Doug Hogan. No. And of course, if we'd had Doug Hogan, he'd be yeah. here, but we, we couldn't get him. Is that it? No, there's one more that takes a great deal of technical <laughs> skill, Dave. That's it. I'll, I'll give you a brief introduction. It's a submarine with a full complement of sailors. A submarine, all right. Going out a for of a six-month journey. All right, going out looking for the missing yeah. crew of that... Probably thing. under the polar ice cap for a yeah, long time, time, but they're all just right. cruising out. Maybe yeah. out of San Francisco okay, Bay. Here they go. Fog. Tom Selleck. One more. <laughs> Thank you.